Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Art by Brittany Gunter. So we're doing something fun today. Um, the package that I got from my fan, or from a viewer, fan mail, whatever you want to call it, had these boards in them. And so they're triple gessoed, um, triple primed medium weight, 100% cotton canvas, acid free, and it says for all media. So I didn't want to get any paint on this back part, so I took a piece of wax paper and I put a roll of painter's tape down. Then I put the wax paper down and taped it on top of it. That way it would be double sealed and it would keep seeped. Because I do kind of like this and I think it would be nice to write on if it works. Um, I know a lot of people have had problems with these boards um, bowing, but this one doesn't feel like cardboard um, like the cheaper ones do, so this one should be a lot better. I've got my cups and then I've got this canvas here um, that I'm going to re-pour at some point, but mainly just so that it's tilted this way. So we're going to do a pour with the paints that we mixed up in the last video. Um, these are the paints that she also sent. Um, she wishes to remain anonymous, so we'll leave her anonymous. But we have the Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics and Rich Espresso, Festive Red, Shimmering Silver, and Splendid Gold. Those are the four we're using today. Um, there are others that she sent, but those are the four we're using today. The only thing that I'm using that's not Deco Art is my premix black. Um, it's one part Floetrol, one part um, paint. Deco Arts are mixed the exact same way that I mix my regular paints. The only difference is in these Deco Arts, I put one drop of the Coconut Milk OGX Anti Breakage Serum for my silicone. And I did that because I do want cells on this piece. I took one of the little containers that Catherine from One Poor Soul sent me and I cut the bottom out because we're going to do an open cut pour. This was actually what I did during my very first YouTube video. Um, so I'm going to take the lids off of all of my paints over here. I chose black as a base because these were all metallics and they were darker colors and I didn't think they would look right on white. So we're doing black. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of each in and then we'll slowly lift up and watch them go. I wish I could have put the tripod on this side but I have this skin that's drying and I couldn't lean it towards the dry tripod which I technically probably could so let's switch that around. Oops, sorry. Because if I lean it towards the tripod, then it's probably going to spill. <laughs> the paint that runs off is probably going to come to the tripod. But as long as I'm really careful about it, it should be okay. So I'm trying to be really careful about it then. So I'm going to put some red in here. And I did add one drop of silicone to each of these colors. But only one drop. Then I'm going to add some gold. hold it up here because it is a little heavy so it's going to slide down. The Rich Espresso. It's already wanting to seep out. <laughs> the Silver. So I'm going to leave that for a minute and not add anything else and just try to keep it to where it stays under the black. I don't want to lift it up above the black. Or so I just let it form some fun cells and then I'll add some more paint as needed. Up 
back down. I'm just going to layer those colors again. I'm going to do red. Gold. Espresso. Let's try to slide down again. And some silver. right here and I'm going to set it back down and then I want to top it off with black so that I don't have just colors sticking out at the top and then we'll tilt it and see where it goes. But I just want to top this off with black. that way for right this second. I'm going to slowly kind of move it this way. I don't want to lose too many of the cells, but I will lose quite a few. We're going to tilt it this way. I'm just trying not to get any paint on my tripod. I'll turn it back to where you guys can see it better in just a moment once I get that done. And then we're going to bring it back down this way. I probably had too much paint on this. If I had had less paint, it wouldn't have uh, stretched so much. I could have put paint around the outside edges and it would have been good. But I <laughs> hadn't done one of these in a while. And I hadn't done one... Um, on a canvas of this size. So, it's interesting. I'm just going to make sure that there's no excess paint because one of the problems I see a lot of people have with these is there's so much paint on it so that it bends and does. So I did have too much paint on it so next one of these that I do will definitely do a lot less paint. Um, but I don't think I've done one like this in probably four to five months, uh, the open cup pour. Plus, I kind of like this. It almost looks like flames, um, but I do think I would, I want to try one that's less paint. That way, when I get the cells, I can just put some paint around the edges, some solid like a black or a white and be good to go so I think we'll try it again but I'm gonna bring you guys down okay so it looks pretty cool not as cool as it did that's on me it's all metallics except for the black there's still some cool lacing like that. This part that kind of looks like fire from a volcano or something. So it's still pretty. It's not quite what I was expecting but it's still pretty. And there's a lot of really pretty metallic stuff under here. So, some nice jewelry. Okay, so let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And feel free to share and let other people see what we're doing. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again next time.